excited, everyone. Today is March 17th, and it is the fifth Sunday of Lent. Today we begin Passion Tide, and you'll notice in the church and here in my own personal chapel that uh, the statue is veiled. Uh, I don't actually have, I just have the one statue in my chapel. Um, <clears throat> but in the church, all the statues will be veiled. Uh, and the reason why we do that is to remind ourselves in the final two weeks, which is called Passion Tide, uh, the final two weeks, um, that if Jesus didn't do what he did, right, if he wouldn't have, you know, carried the cross, if he wouldn't have hung on it for three hours, if he wouldn't have died on it, if he wouldn't have resurrected, we wouldn't have all the great saints that we that we do, right? We wouldn't honor our Blessed Mother, we wouldn't have, our, you know, uh, the infant of Prague in the back of our church, we wouldn't have St. Anthony in the front of our church, we wouldn't have any of those saints. And so to kind of have a stark difference is walk into the church to remind ourselves we're preparing ourselves for the final you know, really days, that's the last two weeks, um, we take that, that image away because you and I are also meant to become great saints. Right? So we, we veil those things to remind ourselves what, what we'd be missing out on and that we have a responsibility to become the saints that are also, you know, centuries from today, um, we are on the wall. Today in the first reading we hear this, the days are coming. Something very simple. The days are coming. <clears throat> in the next, you know, days, you know, or again, it's just two weeks now, um, a lot of really cool things will happen. Uh, next weekend, we'll have our, our Palm Sunday pilgrimage. We'll begin at Ace Hardware and we'll journey, we'll pilgrimage through uh, Germantown Hills and we'll hopefully sing some songs. Last year, it was actually more difficult than I anticipated, so we'll see if that plays out. But uh, we, we prayed together, we renewed our baptism together. Uh, we also just had good good time together with other parishioners journeying with and just the, the witness of that, of joyful Christians. Um, we'll ultimately celebrate all the Masses for Palm Sunday uh, on the, the week of the Triduum. <clears throat> we'll have morning prayer on Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and uh, Holy Saturday at 8 a.m. And then we'll decorate the church afterwards. Uh, all those are just kind of cool things that we get to do for those who will be present for it, you know, of just uh, added little bonus of uh, preparing ourselves, uh, also preparing the church. On uh, Holy Saturday, I'm sorry, on Holy Thursday night, we'll have Mass uh, in the evening and then adoration all night long because the days are coming. On Good Friday, we'll have our Good Friday service um, and we'll have the memorial of the, that Jesus died on the cross at 3 p.m. The days are coming. On Holy Saturday, parishioners from our area, from our parish, some of which have been going to church here for quite some time, uh, will receive life-giving sacraments. All right, the days are coming. I hope that you're having a powerful Lenten season this year. I hope that you're intensifying those, um, you know, Lenten uh, programs. Um, I hope that we're truly getting ready for the days that are coming. Not just sorrow and pain, but also the great resurrection. Happy Lent, and God bless you.